Time to shake off the cobwebs for both me and the mighty Luscombe. Look at this, there's another Luscombe on the field. Here's my chance to get uh, somebody to go flying with me in the mighty Luscombe. A current and qualified Luscombe pilot that can act as PIC. Let's go find out who it is. This Luscombe lives in Hayward, California. Metal wing, single strut. It's like an 8E probably with a 85 horse engine, wing tanks. Flying is a very perishable skill, like fresh fruit at the market that never got sold or empty seats on an airliner after the plane has left the gate. If you don't use it, you lose it. So for civilian flying, you got to do at least three landings every 90 days. Now with my current medical grounding, I'm, I can only operate the Mighty Luscombe as second in command. So today I've got an opportunity I've got a, a young Luscombe pilot showed up here at the airport. We'll go meet him in a couple of minutes. He can act as pilot in command as he's all current and qualified and got the proper medical. And then I can fly the Luscombe as second in command and get my currency. Airplanes as well don't like to sit around as fuel goes bad, seals dry up, oil uh, continues to get acetic, uh, cylinder, uh, Cylinder rings or piston rings tend to get stuck in cylinders because the engine's not moving. It's just not good for any machine to sit around very long, especially airplanes. So we'll both go get some exercise. While we're waiting for our PIC, I want to thank everybody for all the great comments on the 737 MAX update. I was glad I was able to make some sense of all that long saga and get it all crammed in in 20 minutes and folks really seemed to understand what was going on. Regarding um, sales of the 737 MAX, Boeing hasn't had any new sales in the last four or five months. But remember, however, there is a 4,000 aircraft order backlog for the new 737 MAX at Boeing. And for those of you that are saying, forget the 737 MAX, I'll go buy a, an Airbus. Well, <laughs> you can't. Airbus currently has a total aircraft backlog of 7,000 aircraft. So if you were to ditch your 737 MAX order now, you got to get in the back of the line of 7,000 aircraft over at Airbus, which might be years before you get a new airliner. So we're kind of stuck with what we got with only two manufacturers, Airbus and Boeing. Hello, testing one, two, three, can you hear me now? We're uh, using a viewer suggested tip of putting the noise canceling microphone inside the headset of the, the earphone, the earpiece of the headset, so hopefully you can hear out of both of your computer speakers. I'm going to fire this thing up and go do a run up and get this thing ready and go meet our new pilot. Look out! Ah, smells good. Fresh 100 octane exhaust. Oh, pressure's good. Beautiful night for flying. Hardly a breath of wind. But even though it's been a while since I've flown, these old Luscombs just fit, fit like an old shoe. All right, 1700 RPM, left mag, both. Nevada right County traffic, Silver Air Coupe 45, left traffic 25, Nevada County. There's our new pilot. He's uh, out flying right now in my buddy James's little beautiful little Silver Air Coupe. James has his own little Air Coupe YouTube channel. I'll turn you on to it. It's pretty cool. Curb, he curb, he. Where did you put the carb heat? See? Currency. Here they come now is the Silver Air Coupe. Noam's flying. Looks good right down in the slot.
That's James Good in his Air Coupe 415C. You can see more scintillating Air Coupe action on his YouTube channel. It's actually a good channel showing how a, a middle class guy can still afford to fly a small airplane, given a, enough sacrifice financially. Windows down on a summer day, nothing nicer than that. This is Noam, he's 28 years old and owns this Luscom. He's a multi-engine, commercial, and instrument rated flight instructor, currently flight instructing down in the Bay Area. All right, man, a little testing, one, two, three. Here we go, and here we go. Look out! We'll find out. Come on. So you've been flying a few years now to get your, what, 2200 hours? Yeah, 21 and some yeah. bit, I guess. There's Doug, another old Luscombe driver. The county, all through the three X-ray, final 25, full stop, Nevada County. Yep, flying a few years, do my all to fly every type I can get my hands on. You're right, so what? how many types are you up to? Over 100 and... Just now I'm at 115. 115 different types of aircraft. All right, well, now you're in the mighty Luscom, just like yeah. any other Luscom, except for the mighty O200. All right, which has less horsepower than mine. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> mine was dynoed at 117. Wow. And so it's the... How big are your tanks? Do you have the 12 and a half or something else? 12.5 each. Yeah, same yeah. as mine. So in your engine, you still have the camshaft of the 85 horsepower which produces more power at low rpm you're a high torque i Clear. do not remember uh-huh but you got you said you got the 0200 crank yes in your 85 all right yes which increases the compression i think to 7.9 instead of 7.2 or something like that uh-huh I would have preferred to not have to overhaul the engine in the first place. Yeah, that's, that's an expensive idea. proposition. That's why yeah. when I saw this airplane with all the work that had been done to it, I just bought it and paid ding near top dollar for well, it. Well, mine was pretty freshly restored. It had only 350 hours on it or something. Yeah. I got about 250 out of it, and then the engine cooked itself. Mm. All right, we did our... Uh, uh, Cigars check earlier, but we'll just review them again. C for controls, I for instruments. Gas. Gas is on the left tank. The left tank is three quarters full. Right tank is half full. And there's the on switch right there. Does yours really go to zero? The trim tab? Yeah. Well, it says zero, but. Uh, you said you got a run up. A for attitude is there. We'll give you another run up. Check for your own. Uh, Edification. edification, that's the word I'm looking for. So we'll do uh, a couple smash and goes, a full stop or two. We'll stay on 2.5 if the sun isn't too terrible bad. Winds are light, yep. variable. We might do a full stop on 7. You've been around the pattern here in Nevada County. You've seen where our um, yep. your, your, emergency uh, fields are. I would appreciate if you could point out all of the ones you know of because the ones that I saw were minimal. They're very minimal. You're, yeah, this is, <laughs> they're minimal up here, that's for sure. Okay, mags are on both. Mixtures are rich. Fuel's on the left tank. The pattern is clear. I'll be hogging most of the flying today. Lights. Welcome 71608, depart in 25, Nevada County. I'll be staying in the pattern. Looks like that dude is clear of the rag line, and that sun is a killer. Pretty extreme acceleration on a hot day, two people. Yeah. Doesn't exactly throw you back in your seats.
some uh, full stops on seven. Review. Yeah, you mind if I get one? Yeah, sure, man. Let's uh, get you set up here. And I'll get, you got the aircraft. Let's I've taxi got down to there. Yep. Looks rich. Carb heat is in. You have the aircraft. Seven. It's been a long time since I've flown one from the right seat.
first. Yeah, it would have been nicer six inches lower. You want to get on the brakes and get off here? Okay, I got the brakes, I got the aircraft. You have the controls. Thanks. Good job, good job. Thanks, Dan. No, I am. Absolutely. All right, man. Let's do it again. That was fun. Get that luscum up here more often. So thanks, Noam, for helping me get back in the air again, however briefly. Noam's got a bright future in aviation no matter what he decides to do. Right now, he wants to be a civilian test pilot. And thanks, too, for James in the yellow shirt for taking the video of our landings. See you here. Look at this, man. Oh, man. That's, I've got real stuff. That's you got real stuff coming in next? Wow. 